Hi, welcome back to The Rural Project. So my name's Chris and thank you very much for, uh, for joining me. Right, we're back here halfway down the dam access road. It's a grey day here at the land, but um, that's not going to deter me. We've got a lot of work to do and I ain't afraid of a lot of work, so let's get into it. So as you see, the first time I've got to do is get myself these logs booked up. I've got a couple of big logs that are, uh, that are in the way right now. So they're getting booked to length and then once I've booked those to length I'll be back down the bottom of the hill into the gully and um, dragging up some more trees. I think I've had a couple that I need to knock over and then uh, the rest of the day I'll be dragging those big limbs back up the hill and if I've got time booking them to length. So we've got the MS-462 flying through all this wood today. Chain is freshly sharpened, had a little bit of a service at home, just sorted the bar out and give the chain a really good sharpen and a reset. Oh, uh, we should be in for some good firewood cutting today. to go before we start dragging up more wood but as you can see this stuff's great this is nice and solid not like some of the other rubbish I was cutting last week absolutely beautiful wood this it'll split perfect dry out over uh, summer and next year all the customers will be uh, wanting more and more firewood off me <laughs> we'll see how we go with that eh? Right, let's uh, get the rest of these logs cut and then uh, we'll bring you back when I start doing some uh, dropping of trees. Right, we're down, uh, down in the gully now and let's, uh, let's have a look at some of the, uh, the wood I've got to work my way through. Okay, so where we are, we're right down at the bottom of the gully now. So as you can see, that's, uh, that's the water that flows from the neighbour's dam up the hill there. So we've got, got a few logs down on the ground. They're pretty wet, they've been here a lot of years. As you can see like that one, that one there, that's actually in the water. The rest of the, uh, the wood has been, been buried over the years. But I'm going to set the winch up on this and try and drag it out because, as I work my way up without falling in, as we get further and further up this tree, it's, uh, it's got a bit of surface rot on it, but I give it a tap with a hammer. I think this is pretty solid. So I'm gonna attempt to get this one out. Got a dead standing tree here which needs to come down, so that's one that needs to come down. And there's another one there just on the boundary. That one's gonna get dropped. 
And then once those two are down, this one's dragged out of the way. I think I'll uh, make a start on on this. So this is a big old solid lump of wood. This I want to say big and old, definitely. When I say solid, I'm not so sure. But anyway, I need to uh, here detach all these pieces and uh, drag all of this. Like all of that across the little gully and up the other side there to where the excavator is. So that's going to be uh, quite a difficult task, but like I said, I ain't afraid of no work. So let's uh, let's get into this. Um, let's get the chainsaws out. We'll drop those two trees. Get the winch down here and try and drop, uh, try and drag the two that I drop plus the one I've just pointed that crosses the river. Try and get those three all pulled up the hill, or at least pulled over to the other side there, so they were in a secondary pull up the hill. We'll get that, uh, get that set up and uh, see how we're going for time then. Decided before I do a bit of a tidy up, what I'm going to do is just carry on cutting uh, some of this wood, some of the bigger stuff, see what we've got here. We'll get the saw into some of this. I've knocked a couple of branches off already. For those at the end, we'll, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll knock those off so that we've just got a nice long, as straight as it can be, piece to drag up the hill. As I said before, all the smaller stuff, it's, uh, it's all getting thrown away, or burned I should say. Not, uh, not wasting time dragging small pieces up the hill, it just takes too long. Feel that starting. 
just trying to pull that out the last second and uh, too late, got, uh, got pinched up. I've got some wedges but unfortunately they're up the hill, just driving me nuts up and down this bloody hill. But uh, that's all I can do, I've got to go get, get some wedges now, get this one out and uh, then we'll start throwing a lot of this stuff into the scrap pile and, uh, and organising myself to do a little bit of log dragging. Right, I'll bring you back in a few minutes. So I've come back with, uh, with wedges, hammer and the rope. I've dropped the capstan winch off in the right position. So we shall now get this chainsaw out, carry on cutting up and uh, hopefully we'll start a bit of winching. The reason I bought the rope now is basically every time I go up and down that hill, I maximise what I'm doing. So there's a, I never have a time when I go up there or down without something in my hand that I might use for the future. Ah, saves, uh, saves a lot of time up and down the hill I guess. Fisker's minimal saves the day. Right, let's get back into cutting wood. With a big one, I think the only chance I've got of dragging this up the hill is to. Uh, Break it down into a couple of pieces, maybe uh, maybe a cut here, and then I'll leave roughly equal lengths. A lot less weight in the top half. Obviously, all the weight will be in the butt. I think we'll uh, yeah we'll cut this, and then uh, obviously that'll help me understand what sort of wood I've got in here as well. But, uh, let's get this cut in half. Okay, we got the uh, we got the rope on. It's going to be the first log drag of the day. Before I do that, I've done a bit of a tidy up along here. I'm gonna have a look at uh, have a look at this log. So I'll cut through at the butt. I'm actually really happy with that, even though it's got a hollow piece in the middle and it is full of wet mud and uh, huge ants. I think they're uh, I think they're bull ants. I know they hurt like crazy when you uh, when they bite you, and then about five minutes later. The pain comes back again. You think you've been bitten for a second time, and that lasts uh, about 30 minutes. Well, they're seriously uh, big and painful. Anyway, yes, nice, uh, nice solid timber, apart from the hole in the middle. <laughs> right. Let's, uh, let's get the capstan winch roaring and uh, have a go at dragging up this first log. So this will go from here straight up and behind those two trees. Directly just there is the capstan winch. So as long as I can get the log pointing in that direction and uh, that's all I want. I want it to cross the gully and then stop. And then another time I'll take the capstan winch up to the excavator and we'll uh, drag it up the hill. Well, the main task for today now is to get all the big logs across this gully and pointing in the right direction just like uh, like those two are there if i can get to uh, get all the logs over like that that'll be perfect So the first log drug, pretty successful, but uh, let's try the second one. This is the heavier one. We'll see how we uh, see how we go.
that big log has got bound up coming through here and it was pulling in that direction the uh, capstan winch was stalling so what I've done changed the position of the capstan winch so we're now going to try and just roll it off to a side and then we can continue the pull up the hill hopefully that makes sense so the log is in that direction at the moment and I'm going to pull this way try and uh, try and free it up it's just stuck in it's dug into all of those uh, all those reeds in the gully there right let's uh, let's get the winch going Fingers crossed this thing pops out. soft mud again but if we now change direction back to the original pitch or the original angle it'll, uh, it'll pop straight out and be ready to come up the hill Look at that, look at all that wood. That has been a fantastic couple of hours. A lot of big wood there, a lot more than I was actually um, expecting. I only thought there's about three or four pieces in there. What have I got? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, twelve or fourteen pieces in here. And uh, a little bit of good luck. Last log pull. And uh, the road, the rope frayed just on the last pull there. So that's uh, it's pretty lucky. Unlucky, I got to get another rope. But uh, lucky, it was on the last pull of the uh, last pull of the day. Right, so I'm going to go get some lunch now, and then uh, back this afternoon. And I think what I'll do, because the rope's stuffed, I think what I'll do is I'll work my way through all of that waste. Get it all thrown into the burn pile, ready for on finite. Okay, we've had a bit of a break. Feeling refreshed for uh, the rest of the work that we've still got to do. So my plans are like this. So I'm going to get in here. <coughs> so I'm going to do. I'm going to get in here, and all the uh, all the little branches there. We'll get them thrown into this wood pile. I'm going to leave the wood pile that's just there. And everything in that area is going to go into another wood pile just down here. I'm not going to move them all straight away onto the, the wood pile that we'll be burning in a weekend or two's time, and um, purely because that wood pile will then get way too big. Um, the idea being we'll get it burning and then we'll transfer wood over from the other two piles as it starts to burn down. Right, I think what I'll do is I'll get you on time lapse and we'll get you to see a man in action going at a million miles an hour getting all this area sorted out. Three, two, one. Okay, there we have it. In the pile behind me, that's all the wood. So I'm just balancing on a log here, so make sure I don't fall. But yeah, that's the uh, that's a wood pile, all ready for uh, bonfire in a couple of weeks' time. So what I'm going to do now is call it for today. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, don't forget to give a quick uh, thumbs up, 
and uh, stick some comments in the section below if you see anything you want to uh, comment on and I'll reply to you as soon as I get a chance. So I uh, hope you've enjoyed it, thanks for watching wherever you are and we'll see you next time on The Rural Project.